and welcome everyone, and thank you for tuning in. I'm Maxwell McGee, and today I'm joined by Jason Sharp, producer with Callens, and together we're going to be taking a look at Mercenary Ops, a third-person shooter for the PC. Isn't that right, Jason? Yes, it is. It's a PC-exclusive, multiplayer-only game that's coming this summer. Awesome. Yep, uh, and we've just made the decision that it will be free to play. All right, well, congratulations. Let's jump into some gameplay. Awesome. So right away, players are going to get to choose between two different gameplay styles. We've got head-to-head -head and we've got co-op missions. So that's kind of like your PvP and your PvE. Okay. So to show off the gameplay, we'll just jump into a head-to-head -head match. Um, right here, what you're seeing actually is the loadout screen. So in our game, it's a free class system. There are no classes. What your class is going to be determined by is actually the guns you bring into battle. So right here is your loadout screen. So you've got two primary weapons. Um, however, it's not always best to bring in both weapons because there's an encumbrance system. Okay. Weapons have weight and different weapons have different weights. And then does that affect like how fast your character can move or perform certain actions? Yes, uh, yes it does. So if you're bringing a sniper, rifle, and a machine gun, you're going to be a turtle. You're, <laughs> you're going to be crawling on the battlefield. So head-to-head -head is 8 versus 8. It's up to 16 players. Um, we have three classic modes people are going to be pretty familiar with. You've got your team deathmatch, your demolition, which mm -hmm. is like bombing from something like Counter-Strike, okay. and you've got elimination. Um, as you're seeing on screen right now, actually you can execute people and you can down them. Okay. So if, you, if you're, you're shooting at somebody and you don't pass a certain damage threshold, which usually means shots not to the head, yeah. usually to the head is going to directly kill people, but you'll down your opponent. So you're, when your opponent's down, if, if you go up to him and you hit a key, you, you're going to be able to execute him. There's a lot of different execution animations, and that's pretty cool. Um, but also, if it's, if it's an ally that goes up to him, they can res them. So right. revive them full, full HP, and they can get away. All right, now, are you invulnerable during the execution animation, or do you leave yourself vulnerable while you're totally punching a dude in the face? Right um, at the moment, you know, this is an alpha build. We're yeah. still working on certain things like that. We're still testing it. Right now, you're not invulnerable because you get extra points for doing it. Okay. So there is an incentive a little to execute risk people. Reward type of thing. Right. Okay. A little risk and a little reward. Now when you're downed, you can actually, you're, you know, you're going to be able to crawl to safety while you're bleeding out, but if you take too much time, yep. your character will bleed out. Um, so there are neutral weapons that are going to be, that are, all the maps are going to have these spread out in strategic locations. So once again, this is another thing that we've done in order to incentivize players to so move So yeah, we forward. saw her using like a, some sort of rocket launcher type weapon? Yeah, that was actually um, the grenade launcher. Oh, grenade launcher. Yeah. So that, that one has a few more shots and it kind of lobs forward, so it's a little, you can't really hit somebody that's like directly straight in front of you, but there's a lot of different neutral weapons. And is the grenade launcher one of the neutral weapons? Yes, okay. that's one. So these are not, you cannot purchase these, you know, to bring into battle, these you can only get, you know, on the map. Now, are they available straight away, or do they gradually unlock, like, as time progresses? Uh, okay. They're just they're just available right away. Okay. So, yeah, just to simplify things, and also to give people the incentive to push forward right away. You know, we don't want people sitting back in spawn sniping. I mean, that can be fun sometimes, but yeah. it's not fun for everybody. We want some kind of incentives for people to move forward, you know, take strategic locations on the map, and, you know, co coordinate and work together for to get these super weapons. I know one thing people always get upset with about free to play is this concept of buying power. So are you going right. to be able to like, I don't want to wait to unlock the super machine gun at level 60. Can I just buy it straight away? Um, actually, no, you can't. Okay. Um, the, the ones that are level restricted, you have to play to that level to unlock. Um, and all weapons that are going to be, this, I mean, this is microtransaction, so all weapons that are going to be sold in, in the item shop can also be unlocked through gameplay. Okay. So we do have a looting system in the game. Um, so, but that's that's through doing certain things and head-to-head, -head, but also the majority of that is going to be through our co-op missions, which maybe we'll take a look at in a minute. Okay. But also there's another thing that you, you can pick up your opponent's weapons. So if you come in with just, hey, all I've got is a handgun right now. You kill somebody, or maybe your teammate dies, you pick up their weapon, you get to use it for that for this okay. game. Well, until your next death. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's really not the end all um, if someone else has unlocked more weapons than you, but... Um, yeah. you, can, you can take advantage. You of can their take progress. advantage of their progress anyway. And one of the, one of the interesting things about w how we've done this game is the most powerful weapons are are not actually purchasable at all with in-game currency or you or or with the the real money currency. Mm -hmm. You can only get them through playing the game. Okay. The absolute most powerful weapons. So so I hope that you know <laughs> is good for free-to-play players. It's definitely not pay-to-win. All right. Well, let's let's jump over to that. Uh 
that co-op mode next. Yeah, sure. So this particular map, um, we're ready to go. This is actually for the survival mode. Now, survival mode is it's your zombie mode. You know, you're, you're gonna get. Um, you're going to be fighting against zombies and then earning points, in-game points. This is not outside of game currency. Okay. And you're going to use these points to unlock rooms, you know, open doors, use traps, um, pick up, pick up per and purchase weapons that are in-game, special neutral weapons that are just in these maps. It's and just you, used for that map, just for that particular for this match, match. Yeah. it doesn't carry Like out. a flamethrower okay. or, or like extra, extra guns and extra ammo and things like that. So, so co-op missions, actually, there are two other map modes for this. There's an invasion mode, which people may be familiar with from like a Gears of War. It's very similar to a horde mode. You're trying to, you're, you're holed up in a specific location and there's like more, more and more enemies coming at you like over the rounds. And then we've got an assault mode, which you're progressing through stages and you clear this stage, move on to next stage until finally it, everything culminates into like an epic boss fight. You know, so that's more like what a story mode might be. Okay. Although we, de we definitely aren't so focused on the story as it is, come in and just kill a bunch of stuff. You know, as a multiplayer game, just I think come should in, be. Have a lot of big goofy fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now when yeah. you say boss fight, do you mean like a particularly large imposing wave of enemies or is there like a specific boss character. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and show you a boss fight. Sure. So this is an example of a boss that you would see in our game. This is our mech boss on one of our assault mission maps. So he's kind of, you know, getting ready for the battle. Um, yeah, so I think our, our boss, some of our boss missions may be a little nostalgic of, you know, the old style Mega Man Metroid type boss design. Okay. You've got certain attack patterns that, that players are going to have to learn and adjust to. And then there's certain weaknesses that you've got to learn. So this particular guy here, he's got all these machine guns, which right now the guy on screen is shooting out these machine guns to destroy them. So those mach machine guns can be destroyed. And then he's got a bunch of different rocket attacks that you're going to have to use your roll mechanic to, you to know, roll get out, out of the way. way of the rockets. As right. There. And then he's got this huge laser. Oh, that rocket nearly killed this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then he's got these huge lasers that, that will one shot you if you're not in the, you know, not behind cover. And then, oops, there's his weakness. And you know you can start taking him down. And then he's got a traditional boss health bar up there. At the top boss of the health bar. Yep. You, you've got to take it As down. As always. You know this guy's got you know three bars of health. Okay. And yeah. All right, Jason. Well, as we're wrapping up here, is there anything else you'd like to add about uh, Mercenary Ops? So we do plan on updating this game quite quite often after the release. Um, we're planning on you know updating with new co-op missions and new bosses, and we're shooting for something along the lines of. Once a month, there will be a new map with a new boss that you're going to be able to fight, okay. as well as new as new uh, new head-to-head -head maps and new guns and stuff. We're going to be launching with seven head-to-head -head maps with the three head-to-head -head modes, and then five co-op mission maps. You know, so there's there's quite a lot of content that we're going to be launching here with. So we've got a beta actually coming up next month in June. So if people want to check that out and sign up, they can go ahead and head over to our website, which is mercenaryopsgame.com, or like us on Facebook. Yep, and then we're looking to launch somewhere during summer. However, we gotta, you know, yeah, gotta we'll go through the beta first. Yeah. All right, let's get through the beta Fair first. Fair enough. All right, yeah. well, thank you so much right. for stopping by and showing up your game. I appreciate it.